That sounds like me a couple games ago. I know how it feels, buddy. What can we say, chat? The game's dog shit. <laughs> Look at what MW does to people. Hey, what's going on guys? Syrian here and I'm bringing you some more Modern Warfare gameplay. I got my first nuke on Rust earlier today and I'm not gonna not gonna lie about it. I after many, many, many sweaty games somehow stumbled into a lobby that uh well, I was going to say a lobby that Korean Savage would be proud of, but uh, I think these guys would still have posed a bit of a challenge for, for old K3. Um, but anyway, <laughs> that is to say these were some pretty, uh, let's just say they, they weren't the best players I've ever played against, and they certainly weren't the best players I ever will play against. Anyway, that's not really the point. Basically, I got into a, a, a pretty lucky, what they call a YouTube lobby. Managed to get a nuke out of it. I usually don't in those situations. I usually uh, somehow manage to just rush way too aggressively and die to something dumb. But didn't this time. Managed to get a nuke. I don't get many nukes in this game, so I figured why not upload this one for your guys' entertainment. And it also works out that I was using the new assault rifle, which I believe in-game is called the Growl, which I think is an absolutely stupid name. And it's modeled on the SG-553, so I call it the SG. Um, and yeah, it's a really good gun. Uh, it's I'd say there's a lot of variety in ways you could kit it, and I think that's really cool. Uh, it's a, it's really versatile. It's got a bunch of different barrels. Um, at the moment, I'm using the longest barrel, and uh, you can tell that from the iron sights that it has. I think I like these iron sights the most out of all of them, although most of them are good. The only ones I don't like are the default irons, but that's... Uh, I'll, I'll make sure to put up the, what do you call it, the full attachments on screen if they're not already in the gameplay. But yeah, uh, I'm just kind of rambling here guys because I don't have a script because it's late at night and I just finished up a stream. Um, I'm going to say the start of Season 2 has not been that great in my book. There's some pretty nice new content, with, of course, with the, the new guns and stuff, but... The, uh, I don't know, it's it's not been that fun, I want to say it's mainly because they seem to have ramped skill-based matchmaking right up for the start of the season. I assume they do it because, you know, they figure that a bunch of the nooba kaboobas will be coming back, so they don't want them getting stomped, but at the end of the day, what it results in is just, like, some, you know, it, it's kind of like how it was when the game first came out, it's just not that much fun, but we're struggling through it, I got the... Uh, SG Damascus today, and I'm pretty close to unlocking the ump. But yeah, it'd be I don't know. I get uh, get people ask me all the time like, hey, how's Rust? How, how's how's season two? How's Rust? How's the you know how the new guns? What do you think of the balance changes they made? And it's unfortunate I have to tell them like, uh, well, I don't really know how good Rust is because. Basically, 95% of games play like I'm playing fucking League play, so I really, like, it, it's it's hard to judge how Rust is, uh, because, well, any map, even really good maps, tend to play like shit when the skill-based matchmaking is as stringent as it is, or as it has been, seemingly to me, at the start of the season. Um, so yeah, I'm really hoping that they turn the skill-based matchmaking back down sooner rather than later. Because uh, it is, you know, and you, it might not be, might not seem too bad or whatever if you're just playing a few games here and there. But you know, for me, when I'm streaming eight to ten hours a day, it's uh, it's it, it's it's just it's just not that good. It's it is no bueno. I I, uh, I don't know. I think I've harped on about that enough. Anyway, um, as for what I think about Rust, like I said, it's it's kind of hard to judge how it would play if the game was. Uh, less sweaty, but I will say I have always hated the center tower on Rust, uh, and I don't think that that opinion is likely to change. It is absolute camper bait. It's awful how much of an advantage you get for being up there, um, and if you, the thing is, if you want to go up there, all you can do is camp there. 
you know, like once you're up there, you're not getting back down that easily, so you better uh, better be committed to the, the tower life. And that's not me, so, you know, it kind of bugs me that the optimal way to play Rust is to just sit on the fucking top of the tower and, and shoot people who don't even see you because the visibility is terrible. Oh, that's another thing that, yeah, I should say the, the visibility on Rust is... Well, it leaves something to be desired. Let's just say that the the visual designers who made MW2's maps and visuals are clearly no longer present, or at least have had a huge change of design philosophy, because, you know, one of the biggest criticisms with MW is that you can't see shit, and that is uh, definitely applicable here. Uh, I would say I'd place Rust, if I'm talking about whether, you know, how much I enjoy playing it, I would say I kind of place it, like, I enjoy it more than shipment, most uh, mostly for the most part, because the spawns aren't as terrible. It's not as much of a clusterfuck. Um, so more than shipment, but a lot less than Shoot House. I think Shoot House is a significantly better map. It, it's it's you know more evenly paced. It doesn't tend to be as campy. Um, the engagements are a lot more controllable. Uh, one thing Rust does have going for it is that it is a bit more AR and LMG friendly than a lot of uh, maps and what you might think it would be, but I, I still would much prefer to play on Shoot House. Uh, the spawns are better, visibility is vastly improved. The only place I have a, a real visibility issue on Shoot House is, uh, what do you call it, Junkyard. And, you know, that you can you can deal with that if you, if you just kind of avoid it as much as possible. Whereas on Rust, uh, yeah, there's just there's no avoiding the gigantic, endless clouds of dust and sun glare and crap. It just just makes it really difficult to see, and I don't really understand why they would want that in their maps. But that's the visual design they've gone for with this game. So, what can you do, huh? It's unfortunate. I definitely would have preferred it. I was a big fan of Black Ops 4's uh, red glowing lights system and it's not realistic well I don't give a shit if it's realistic or not it was fucking amazing for visual clarity you were always sure who was shooting at you and from where it was really nice um, I've never enjoyed uh, gameplay based on hiding in these games like you know in a, in a game like this I've always enjoyed the, the gunplay gunfight gun versus gun action not playing hide and fucking go seek with people who are like pixel head glitching on a spot you can not even see them. Um, anyway. Probably ran it about the visibility long enough as well. Uh, the spawns on Rust kind of suck. I It's been a while since I played it, but I did play it a decent bit back in MW2. I want to say that the spawns on this version of Rust are... I, I want to say they're worse only because the map seems slightly bigger. Um, I've heard a few people say it's smaller, which I don't really get. It looks bigger to me. I know it, it will look bigger because of the FOV, but it also looks like there are parts of it that have been, you know, slightly widened or, you know, made further from each other and shit like that. So it definitely looks like it's a little bigger, and because of that, I would say, uh, you know, the, the spawns on the old Rust being crap were a bit more forgivable. Um, they're less forgivable in this game because it's a little bigger, but, I mean, it's not like old Rust spawns are any good anyway, so... That's my thoughts on Rust and the new stuff. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Hope to see you all next time, and peace out. Enjoy the rest of your day. Love you all.